Gosh, am I ready for it? I, um, well, well, we'll find out, right? We'll find out. I mean, we've pulled the pin out of the grenade, so we'll see. It's, it's going to go off. <laughs> I mean, I like that because the thing is, I get so mad at you guys every single year because y'all leave me hanging every season. Oh, yeah. I mean, are we going to get all the answers? I think, the yeah, I think you'll get, I think you'll get all of the, I, I think you will get all of the questions answered that you need. And I think the, hopefully, you know, I guess the goal is to leave people with a feeling of, um, what they felt when the first when the show first came on uh so hopefully hopefully we um hopefully we're successful in that well, let me ask you this this is us movie can you see it happen uh, this is us movie i mean yeah sure yeah i mean you know i i know i know um i know uh, six other actors that would that would do the movie probably yeah i think we could probably pull that off so you're saying right here on access hollywood this is gonna happen right now right I'm I'm saying I'm I'm down for a This Is Us movie. Sure, I love these cats. I would work with them. I would do a, a trilogy movie. I would do I, I really would I'd do a movie every year with these guys. I love it. I love it. Well, I mean, here we are. I know you guys are still rolling around, still shooting right now. Yeah. When they call set for the final time, what's it going to be like emotionally? For you? you know, I, hopefully fulfilling. I I mean, I I was fulfilled. Um, artistically fulfilled the moment that I was allowed to play this character and, and, and shoot one scene to be quite honest with you I think Dan wrote a very important um, complex deep layered uh, character that evolved over time and I think that this character when we look at him and he's he's a, a movie star or whatever maybe not a movie star but he's he, he, he wants to be here and he's kind of a movie star and he's got money and he's got fame and all this kind of stuff um, and you go, well, what's, what's relatable, I, you know, but yet he's so relatable. So, I, I don't know, I, I um, yeah, it, it's going to be tough, you know, obviously, but it'll be bittersweet because I think we've got, we've accomplished so many things over the years and brought so many people with us in the show. This is us. Every, it seems like every week, every month, every year, every season, our, our, we grow because our audience is our family as well. And these people, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a family. It's wonderful. No, you hit the nail on the head right there. All right, I don't see Dan or any of the producers around, so when they call cut, what's the first thing you're swiping from set? Oh, well, I might have already taken something. Can you see? Um, I, took the, um, I took the car, the station wagon. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what would I take? I don't know if I will... I, I, yeah, oh, maybe the necklace. Maybe I take the necklace. That's a good idea. Yeah, maybe I take the necklace. Yeah, maybe I just lose it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really into that. I don't. I don't do the, a lot of that stuff. I. You know what I do? I don't keep things from projects that I've done. I keep things from projects that Kevin Pearson has done. So I have his Hill 400 poster, and I have his painting, and I have his. You know, I have a, a, a bunch of stuff from the stuff that he's done. Which I think is kind of cool, but I don't. I don't really keep much, much that, you know, from what I've done. Kevin Madison. I mean, what's gonna happen? Their storyline. It's it's killing me too because it's like you know, it's yeah. For Kevin, it seems like he's found the one. Something seems to happen. I know. What's I know. It's complex. Uh, you know, they have these twins now, and they're they're trying to figure out. The wedding got called off, obviously, and they're trying to figure out um, where how they co-parent and um they're both i think they both really do care about each other they both respect each other and they both want each other in the baby's lives and to be in there but it's a it's a tricky thing and when you start introducing other characters it gets even trickier right but this is real life stuff it's hard to uh it's hard to tackle but we always manage well, i want to ask you too i mean we see so many flash forwards from the, especially last season yeah are we end in the future or are we like how's it how do you think it's going to wind up? Ah, uh, gosh, I, here's, I don't want to, I mean, I, I would say that you, you might see a, a, a bit more in the future. You probably will. But I'm going to tell you how it ends, though. It ends so soon. It, it's, it's, it's right around the corner. We have to wait. We've waited this long. So I, I get it. You won't tell me that. You won't tell me that. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, I'm a little hurt, but I'll take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm playing this game with everybody. We're going to end it right here. Okay. Rapid fire. Oh. The most emotional person on set. Is Chrissy. All right. Who's the most fun to work with on set? I don't have, I love all of them. I, the, the mo I will tell you this. I'm not going to name any names, but the most fun I ever have on set, and I mention it to, the, to them every single time we have an opportunity to do that, 
is when everyone's in the same scene. It's the most fun. It takes a little longer because there's more coverage and there's more people, but it is the most fun, the most interesting group of people, the most diverse. Everyone has their own thing. It's like they're, they're in their own air. And when we come together, it's, it's, it's really beautiful. It's fun to be around. Favorite episode from all six seasons? Favorite episode, uh, the pilot's hard to beat, I think, just because you, you were introduced to all these characters in such a great way. Probably a perfect pilot. Um, and Breaking Bad, those are probably two perfect pilots if I think about the best pilots ever. Um, I mean, the, the episode where Kevin went back to high school, that, that, was, that was a tough one, that was hard. And I think that, that, um, that experience set him on a path of healthy recovery, which was important for, for him to, to survive. So that's probably the one. Well, my last one, and you can include yourself in this, one, but who gives off the most daddy vibes on set between you, Milo, Sterling, or Chris? Because you all have kids on the show, so. Yeah, um, well, listen, I, yeah, I'm the OG. I got the oldest. I got, the, in real life, I got the oldest. I got, I got a 17-year-old, so, um, so I'm the OG, although that might make me the least. Right, I'm not sure. Um, I, he's a Chris is pretty good. Chris, Chris is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, named his son Bear. You know, he's got you know kids on the show, and yeah, probably Chris.